Now at 5.30, an invasive species has local experts concerned. The winter moth caterpillar is out in large numbers this spring, and you've probably seen them. They're those little green inchworms, and they could be doing some major damage to our trees. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo joins us now from the weather yard with the details that are new at 5.30. Those tiny green inchworms are all over our trees, so much so that one local expert calls it a crisis. These little green inchworms are voracious eaters. Trees are already showing what these winter moth caterpillars can do. They're an invasive species. They're native to Europe. They've been here for 10 to 15 years and their numbers have reached a critical point. It is a crisis for the forests. The uh, invasive caterpillar builds up and the numbers become overwhelming for the trees. Trees become stressed when they become defoliated during the growing season. Repeated stresses can severely hurt a tree. Eventually the trees will tire and sicken and um, many will uh, be killed if the number of caterpillars stays high. To help keep the inchworm population down in your yard, applying a bacterium called Bacillus thuringiensis, or BT, to trees can help get rid of some of these hungry little caterpillars. It's, of course, impossible to apply to very large trees. Um, and uh, it's really something more for shrubs, blueberries, uh, that kind of thing. For the larger trees, scientists at URI have released a parasitic fly to attack the winter moth caterpillar. But it's going to take a while for this to happen. The winter moth population's been building up for uh, at least 10 years, and it will take something on that order of magnitude for another insect, the fly, to build up. And chances are any trees or bushes in your yard are probably already under a little bit of stress because of the recent dry weather. Wouldn't hurt to give them a little bit of water, especially if they're under attack from those inchworms. In the Weather Yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.